Uh, hello, it's me again. Uh, today we're going to... Oh, uh, an NVIDIA came out with the latest Deepstream, Deepstream 5. And so what we're going to do is uh, I downloaded the Python uh, samples and I'm going to run one of the Python samples. Um, as you can see here, uh, I, this, I'm going to use this uh, Python sample, stream, image data, multi-stream. And I'm going to run four IP cameras. Well, I'm going to run two IP cameras. You can run four, but I notice if you go any more than two, you get a little lag in there. So the, to run the IP cameras, there are TSP IP cameras, and I'll show them to, me, show them to you later. That you got to run this. This is how the cameras have to be formatted, like this. And then uh, let's get going. As you can see, uh, the camera, we're running about 23, 22 frames a second. Um, there I am. You see, there's my latest uh, 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 portable nano applica application. So uh, we'll stop and look at that for a minute once we get going. But uh, as you can see, we're running pretty good. 25 frames per second, 22, 23. And then it's picking everything up pretty good so what we'll do is like uh, let's stop it right there and uh, <clears throat> like I say um, this is what you gotta put in there to get your IP cameras to run these are cameras I got these cameras off eBay I'll show them to you in a minute um, here's the latest portable rig I've got the latest nano in there the one with the two CSI cameras I've got a touch screen 7 inch touch screen I got my Connect for Azure, and I run all my cables through there, and then I got my battery. So uh, uh, we're going to show you kind of what that's seeing. Like that, you know, it's picking the person, the car up. It's doing a pretty good job. Now, this is what the, uh, the, the portable rig is seeing. As you can see, let's see. I uh, will stop it right there. As you can see, I got my four... Uh, uh, IP cameras here and then what I do is I've got a uh, power over Ethernet uh, switch right here and this cost me I think it was like 60 bucks on Amazon I'll give you a link to that I got these IP cameras um, you know I think they're like 30 bucks I got those on Amazon do I'll put a link to that and this black box this black barrel right here is uh, a Christmas tin that I took from my wife and painted it black so uh, that's our secret so let's not say that then uh, and you can see like that this is pretty simple have you noticed that uh, <clears throat> I just got the Ethernet cable going in there and the power cable so the Ethernet cable runs all the way into the house and that's where the nano is that, that's what I like about the IP cameras versus the webcams the IP cameras you can get them up to 300 feet away from the nano and they still work. That's the that's the distance of uh, Ethernet signals before they degrade. So I, I like that. There's that. It's just a look at it. And then it's back to this. There's my son. You see, it's picking up people, cars. You know, we're running 26, 25 frames a second. So it's doing pretty good. There's me. So let's just stop it for a second here. Um, these are the, the the latest DeepStream, DeepStream 5. Now I got this running in Windows, so it's going to have a different look to it. Um, I've noticed that in DeepStream 5, they uh, let's go back. There's the Python. You have to download the Python samples, and they'll be in here. Uh, I only got this one app, so this is the app that's running in in here. And uh, what I had to do to get it to run on the Nano is I had to go into the config right here, and I had to point. This is this was pointing at just the primary detector, so I went ahead and I pointed at the primary detector Nano ResNet 10 model. So if you want to run this on the Nano, you're going to have to make these changes right here. Other than that, you know, everything else can stay the same. Uh, let's see. There, it, when this program runs, 
it makes this frames file. And uh, I think what it is, that this is where this, the images are being stored before they're processed. So every time you run this program, you have to delete this frame file because it makes a new one. And then, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's uh, your regular old Python program. I didn't change any of this. You know, what's nice about this is, like, I like Python because it's easy to work in. And I really wanted to uh, move from C++, deep stream C++ applications to deep stream Python applications because I, it, to me, it's much funner. To do it in that, it's just it's easier for me. Uh, let's see, that's about it there. Uh, oh, and another thing too, I noticed in the Deep Stream Five, they've really kind of uh, made it so it's more compatible with the Transfer Learning Toolkit and stuff like that. So they've added this here, so that's really nice because <clears throat> the Deep Stream. Uh, uh, application and the transfer learning toolkit application they really go hand in hand so uh, I think in about a week I'll be putting out um, a, a, a little tutorial on how to use the latest transfer learning toolkit so so uh, look forward to that fans and then like I say there's all kinds of stuff in here so it's nice that they made it a little easier for us to mesh um, DeepStream and the transfer learning toolkit together Let's see. That's about it there. But uh, like I say, um, you know, it works pretty good. You know, this is a this is a Python application, a deep stream Python application. Um, like I've got two cameras here running 24 frames a second. Uh, and it's running pretty good. I mean, you can run. I've run four cameras. But what happens is there's a lag in there. Now, there's no lag in the frames per second. There's a, a lag in the, 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 the live image uh, and then the displayed image. But, you know, it's running pretty good. I, I, I like that. I'm happy that I can move back into Python because that, that just makes me happy. So, well, anyway, uh, well, thank you for it and uh, look forward to my transfer learning toolkit uh, demo. Bye.